recorded, edited, and published your latest podcast episode for the world to hear. And now you have to create a promotional social media post, yet your creative juices aren't flowing as much as you'd like them to. In the short series, I'll be showing you how you can go from podcast audio to social media post in just a few seconds with Azure OpenAI Service, .NET, and the Power Platform. So let's take a look at what we're going to be covering throughout this series. In this video, we'll be laying the foundation by diving into the world of Azure OpenAI Service. We introduce the service, describe the models, and guide you through creating deployments, setting the stage for seamless AI integration. In the next video, we'll be bridging the gap by creating a .NET API using the .NET Azure OpenAI SDK and creating a custom connector from within Visual Studio. And finally, we'll bring it all together with Power Apps and Copilot Studio, leveraging the custom connector in both of those products to see how it works. Now let's talk about what we'll actually be building. We'll be exploring the integration of the Power Platform with advanced AI models to create a dynamic application inspired by Kevin Scott's Microsoft Build 2023 demo. In this demo, Kevin developed a co-pilot that took an audio snippet from his podcast Behind the Tech, and using AI, he got a transcription of the audio. Then he extracted the guest name from the transcription, which was then used to search Bing to retrieve a bio for that guest. Given the transcript and the guest bio, a social media blurb was generated. And then using that generated blurb, an appropriate Dali prompt was created to then generate a corresponding image from Dali to accompany the social media post. And the idea is that you can then take this image and the social media post and post that onto any of your social networks. That's pretty cool. However, when I saw this, I thought that I could build this in the Power Platform, and I did. And that is what we'll be showing you in these next couple of videos. I first had to make sure that I was set up for success. And for that, I needed access to Power Apps and access to Copilot Studio. I also needed to make sure that I had access to Azure to create all of my Azure resources and AI deployments. Once I had access to Azure, I then had to request access to Azure OpenAI service by going to the form link that's on screen and filling out all the relevant details, but making sure that when I get to question number 17, that at the bare minimum I select the GPT models for text generation, the DALI models, as well as the OpenAI Whisper model. These are the models that we will need to create this project. With that out of the way, I could then download Visual Studio, making sure that we have all the components needed for .NET development. Now let's start creating. Everything I'll be going through can be found step by step on GitHub at aka.ms forward slash power podcast copilot. Everything is there for you to follow along with me as we build this project together. Right, so here I am inside of my Azure portal. The first thing I'm going to search for and select resource groups. So here we are here. And then while that loads up, I'm going to then create a brand new resource group. And I'm going to call that podcast copilot power app we will store all of our azure resources inside of this resource group let's go ahead and review and create that once the validation has passed we'll go ahead and click on create once our resource group has been created let's go ahead and click into it uh, we can minimize that and let's go ahead and add our first Azure OpenAI service resource. We'll go to create, and then that will take us to the marketplace. And then we can simply search for OpenAI. And what that will do is that will bring up all the OpenAI related resources, 
we are looking specifically for the Azure OpenAI resource. We'll go ahead and click into that. Then once that loads up, we'll just click on create. And then here we will configure the following set of parameters. We have our subscription. We also have the name of our resource group where this will be stored. And the next one is the region. In this case, we're going to be looking for the West Europe region. And we're choosing this region because this particular resource will store our Azure OpenAI models that allow us to use GPT and Whisper. Those two model types are only found in the West Europe region. So with that, we'll then go ahead and name our resource group as well. We'll just go ahead and click that. So podcast copilot WE for Western Europe. And then I'll go ahead and add GG just to make that unique. And then for my pricing tier, we'll just pick the standard um, pricing tier for that one. Once that is done, we'll just click next until we get to the review and submit section that will just validate all the parameters that we've set up. And once that is done, we can then go ahead and create our resource. And once that deployment is complete, we can go ahead and create another Azure OpenAI service resource. What we can do from this page is we can just go into our resource group once again and follow that same pattern. We can go to create, that'll take us to the marketplace. We search for open AI. And then once we have that, we can click into the Azure open AI resource and click on create. The parameters will be relatively the same, but in this case for our region, we will just make sure that we pick the Sweden central and that will allow us access to the DALI model where we are able to create images um, from AI. So we have Sweden Central. We'll go ahead and just name it appropriately. So in my case, I'll just name that podcast copilot SC for Sweden Central and then append the GG just to make it unique. And then we'll go ahead and pick our pricing tier. Click next until the review and submit section. Wait for the validation to end. And then we click on create and wait for the deployment to finalize. And the second deployment is now complete. Let's click into our resource group and see what we have so far. As you can see, we have two Azure Open AI resources there. One is set in the Sweden central region. This will get, give us access to the DALI model. The DALI model is what allows us to create those images. And then we have one Azure open AI resource set in West Europe that that gives us access to GPT to generate text as well as the whisper model, which allows us to create a transcription from our podcast. We need to create another resource here in Azure, and that is the Bing search resource. Same steps, we'll just go into create, that'll take us to the marketplace. Let's go ahead and search for Bing search. And we'll go ahead and click Bing search V7, and then click on create. And we'll go ahead and set some of these parameters. First things first, let's go ahead and add that name. This time we'll call it Podcast Copilot Bing. And of course, let's append those two values to make it unique. We'll keep the region as global. And then we'll set our pricing tier to F1. Once that is done, we need to make sure that we accept and confirm that we have read and understood these notices above. I have obviously read them. Please make sure that you read them before you accept those terms. And once again, we'll go ahead and review and create. And then once that's done with the validation, we can then go ahead and create and wait for the deployment to complete. 
once the deployment has completed we can go back to our resource group by clicking here and you'll see that all three resources are inside our resource group the two azure services as well as the bing resource but before we move on let's go ahead and select the bing resource and on our left hand side under resource management we will go to keys and endpoints and then we just need to copy one of these keys right so i've copied key one and i'm going to store that somewhere safe for later on so i'll just put it in a notepad on the side here and we will need that key to reference this resource later on so make sure that you store it somewhere safe once you've copied and stored that key somewhere safe let's go back to our resource group like so and then we're going to be opening the western europe azure open ai resource so let's go ahead and click into that and once we are in the resource page we're going to go to the top of our page here and click on go to azure open ai studio we are now inside of the azure open ai studio this is a place where we can create deployments of our resource as well as test to make sure that our resources work as we need them to so for now we'll be creating our deployments so in the azure open ai studio on the left hand side we'll look for the deployments tab and click into that and then we'll click on create new deployment we'll go ahead and select the gpt 3.5 turbo model we'll leave the model version as is and then for deployment name we'll call it gpt 3.5 turbo and we can go ahead and create that deployment that will take just a couple of seconds and once that's done we can go ahead and create the second deployment so the same way create a new deployment we'll be selecting the whisper model and then we will name the deployment name whisper and then we'll go ahead and create that but now with them created we need to save certain details so that we are able to reference these models later on when we are writing our code so let's click on the gpt 35 turbo model and when we get to here we'll just click on open in playground and what we will do there is we'll click on view code and there's a few things that i want you to take note of first is this endpoint this is the endpoint for the west europe resource so we'll just go ahead and copy that and again we'll just save that somewhere safe which i will do now and then i'll go ahead and copy the key as well here at the bottom so i'll just press that button to copy and of course with that as well i'll put that somewhere safe for later reference now we do not need to do this for the whisper model as they have the same endpoints because they're both under the same resource and they will also have the same key so once we are done we can go ahead and close that but now we need to also create a deployment for our dolly model that can't be found in the west europe resource so we'll need to change this to the sweden central so what we'll do is in the top right hand corner we'll click on my profile here and then we'll go to switch and once we at the switch page we will look for the other resource that sets in sweden central and we'll click on use resource so that will switch resources now we are in the studio for the sweden central resource again we'll go to deployments and we'll see that it is empty since we haven't created one for this resource yet let's go ahead and create a new one now you can see a different list of models but for here we will choose the dali 3 model type leave the model version as is and for the deployment name we will go ahead and set that to dali 3 so let's go ahead and create that now once that's created we also need the endpoint and the key 
to access this deployment. So let's click into the DALI deployment and select open in playground. Once we're in the playground, we can go ahead and select view code and we will do the same thing. We'll copy our endpoint and note that somewhere safe. And then we'll copy the key as well and note that somewhere safe too. So now we have both endpoints and both keys for both of our resources. So with that, we can hit the close button. Now I'm going to switch back to my Azure portal. And that is because we need a place to store the podcast snippet file, right? That audio that we're going to turn into a social media post, we want to keep that somewhere safe. And for that, we're going to be creating Azure blob storage. So what we will do is first, we will navigate to the podcast snippet file inside of the GitHub repo where this workshop is. You'll see this is the podcast snippet.mp3 file. And what we'll do is we'll download that file so that we have it. And then we'll switch on back to our Azure portal and create our Azure blob storage. So what we can do here is we'll search for storage accounts, click into that. Let's create a brand new one and we'll make sure that our subscription is good. Make sure we select the correct resource group. And then for storage account name, we'll just call that podcast storage and the initials to make that a unique name. We'll leave the region as is the performance as well. Let's keep that as standard as well as the redundancy. And then we must ensure that the mark read access to data available in the event of regional unavailability is still selected. Once that's done, we'll click on review and create and create once that has been validated. Once that deployment has been created, we'll go to the resource. And then on the left hand side panel, we'll scroll down to the settings section and click on configuration. Then we'll look for allow blob anonymous access and click on enabled and then save that option. This will allow us to access our podcast file anonymously. Once saved on the left hand side, we'll scroll up until we find the data storage section and click on containers. There we'll add a new container and we'll name the container audio and change the anonymous level to blob. Once that's done, we can go ahead and create our container. Once the container is created, we'll click into the audio and then click on upload. And this is where we'll upload that podcast snippet file that we downloaded earlier on. And I've done just that. Then we'll go ahead and click on upload. Once uploaded, we'll click into that audio file and make sure to locate the URL or property and copy that. And again, we'll need to note that down somewhere safe, which I will do now. And once that has been stored somewhere safe, we have completed with the first part of this project. And that's it for this video. At least we've created all the Azure resources. We've created our AI deployments, and now we're ready to move on to the next phase of our development. As I've said earlier, Everything I'm going through is documented step-by-step -step on GitHub at aka.ms forward slash power podcast copilots. So you can follow along with me there as well. See you in the next video for part two, where I'll be bridging the gap and creating a .NET web API with the .NET Azure OpenAI SDK. And we'll be creating a custom connector from within Visual Studio. See you there.